we'll give everybody another minute just to make sure everybody's had the chance to come in. Mm. 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 Okay, mm. I think we should start now. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you have all had a, a good lunch. Uh, this afternoon's session is with Jill Clark and Tag, and she's going to be discussing the advisory group, what Tag is, and how you can all get involved. Uh, if you would like to ask any questions, could you just maybe wait to the end? If you would like to pop a question into the chat box, uh, I can ask these at the end for you. Or if we've got time, you can maybe just put your hand up at the end uh, and just give Jill plenty of time to kind of compose and answer your question. So over to Jill now. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello everyone, I am delighted to be here today talking to you after what has been a difficult time with COVID. A big thanks to Sarah Lopalsi Scotland for letting me speak today about the campaigning work I have done over the years and also to tell you about TAG, a small charity group has helped me to do it. My name is Jill Clark and I am 29. I have a total cerebral palsy, which it affects my movement and speech, therefore I am in a wheelchair all the time, and as you can mm -hmm. see, I use a communication device. I use a tracker dot to access my program on my device. The dot is on my head, it is just like it were red. So when it comes to any question, you can at the end. Just give me a few seconds to respond and I will be literally spelling it out for you. I live in Glasgow with my mom and dad. I have a big sister and I have a nephew and a niece. I have many interests and hobbies. I love going to concerts. Country music is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I am a big fan of social media. I love going swimming. I love mm -hmm. going skiing and mm -hmm. horse riding. Mm -hmm. And what stereotype I am happy to own is I love mm -hmm. shopping too. Mm -hmm. Shopping is a highlight of my regular trips to Florida. Mm -hmm. I love being out and about. I love my independence. I get 16 hours support from T2 to enable me to do this I want to. As well as a hectic social life, this helps write my blog and get on with campaigning. They are both linked. The campaign to increase the number of changing places and living the life I want both hand in hand. I love having my support. My team are young women my age. They support me to be independent. But I need to watch where I go because of the lack of changing places towards. As a disabled person, I can't just go out somewhere without thinking about disabled needs. Mm -hmm. Are there left? Is there enough room to get around in the place? but especially is there a suitable toilet that meets my needs. I require a voice. I need to plan ahead and check that anywhere that I want to go has everything for me. This makes me feel angry because for 2021, disabled people should be able to go anywhere that we want to go, shouldn't we?
And even if I went to Stephanie, it seemed to be in place it wouldn't be the first time. I went to the changing place and told them the voice wasn't working. And let me tell you, needing to hold on until you find the next changing place is told it doesn't make for a fun day out. Sorry for talking about college. You may be thinking, why is she talking about college? I am a bit of a... Well, let me explain. It may seem daft to campaign for a college, but going to the college is a basic human right for all of us. Did you know that we go to the toilet up to between four and ten times a day? Mm -hmm. This can be a challenge for many disabled mm -hmm. people like myself. Mm -hmm. Standard accessible toilets do not meet the needs of all people with a disability. Mm -hmm. Over one quarter of a million mm -hmm. people in the UK mm -hmm. with a disability need extra mm -hmm. equipment and space to mm -hmm. allow them to use the toilet mm -hmm. safely and comfortably. Mm -hmm. These needs mm -hmm. are met by mm -hmm. changing places mm -hmm. toilets. So changing places toilet has all the right equipment in it such as a voice. A changing bed and it is very big to move around for a wheelchair user and two carers. So what do I do about it? I love campaigning for disabled people's rights. I am a volunteer mm -hmm. with Pamis as a changing places ambassador and mm -hmm. a public educator, blogger and access advisor mm -hmm. for TAD, which is a great organization that I am very mm -hmm. involved in, but you probably have never heard of it, and I would like to tell you about it. I have been a member of TAD now for seven years. TAD stands for the advisory group. The advisory group has been going since 1996 to enable people with disabilities to have a stronger voice in the services they use and in their local communities. It is run by disabled people for disabled people to promote inclusion and fight discrimination. It became a registered charity in 2012 and has over 500 members. There are 11 regional TAD groups across Scotland. TAD supports people to respond to issues and concerns raised by individuals both locally and nationally. But perhaps the most important work we do in making Scotland a more inclusive place for everyone to live. We are a source of information for disabled people. We empower people to engage with local and national consultations. We make sure people know they are not alone if they have a complaint or injustice to raise. Just like many advocacy organizations, we are there to help people when they need a bit of independent support. First of all, there is the practical stuff. Like I said, I get 16 hours support, but if I am doing something for TAG, like today, for example, TAG always covers the cost of extra support hours. We are a small charity and depend on grants and funding to do our work. This has been a big help to me. Our members design and deliver a school program where we go into schools to teach the children what disability is, what life can be like, but more importantly, all the wonderful things disabled people can do and achieve. Here you see John, who is one of our team who has a learning disability, telling one class about his experience of representing Scotland in the Special Olympics. 
we are provided disability awareness training for first bus for local taxi firms, provided training materials for the NHS, local authorities, and a host of local and national organizations. So her has had helped me. Over the seven years when I have been involved with TAG, TAG has been greatly helped me with my campaigning. First of all, there is the practical stuff. Like I said, I get 16 hours support, but if I am doing something for TAG, like today, for example, TAG always cover the cost of extra support hours. We are a small charity and depend on grants and funding to do our work. This has been a big help to me. That has helped me to make videos, put together presentations, and spread news about my campaigns on social media. Mm. We are even gone international. A few years ago, Tad asked me to talk to a group of people from Finland about accessibility in Scotland, and we've heard what it is like in Finland too. It was a very interesting day, and I was delighted to be a part of it. Tad works closely with a lot of different organizations and they're always on the lookout to get me involved in improving accessibility when they're working in the partnership to get more people involved in sports. West and partnership sports leisure were building a new leisure center. Tad linked me in with the local authority team and provided support so that I could share my experiences. It was a fantastic partnership here. You see me interviewing the head of sports and leisure and getting a tour of their wonderful new facility. It's fully accessible and I am glad to say I use it regularly. Run this tag helped me produce a video to share with other local authorities to show what can be done. Sharing good practices as important as complaining about what is wrong. I've also done a lot of work in my home city. Today, there are 242 changing places toilets in Scotland. As someone who lives in Scotland, I have seen how the city got better with a lot more changing places toilets. When I first started my Changing Places campaign, there were just two Changing Places toilets in Glasgow, but fast forward to the day, there are 20 Changing Places, which is fantastic. These include St. Inog Centre, Central Station, Queen Street Station, Freehead, Kelvin Hall, Riverside Museum, and the Science Centre. Having all of these toilets in Glasgow makes life better for disabled people like myself. As a young person who likes to go out and about going shopping, going to a museum, going to a concert, or just mm -hmm. going for dinner or a drink, it is much better for mm -hmm. me now than it was seven mm -hmm. years ago. Campaigning works and tax has really helped me spread the word. Pat does a lot of different fun things with different areas that we work. In Regulgeer, Sterling and Clark Menagerie help people explore what is going on in their communities and work with them to plan with self-directed support. Mm -hmm. And in Berkeley, we are supporting people to redesign day services mm -hmm. and in my home city of Glasgow, mm -hmm. our community health and sport coordinator, new mm -hmm. runs different fun activities to get people more active, like dance classes and football. We also support people to become sports coaches. 
anyone can get involved with PAD. We welcome everyone with a disability. We have our website called theadvisorygroup.org and we are on Facebook and Twitter. That's the best way to find out where we are and what we are up to. We are big on our Facebook. Since the first lockdown, we have ran fun things online and you will get to see all the wonderful pictures people have sent in. It is great to see. Coming back to changing places, there are just 20 changing places in Glasgow. Mm -hmm. Even though this is good, we need more, including in pubs and restaurants. I have a Facebook page for my campaign called The Toilet Woman. Look it up if you wish to find out more. There is also the Changing Places website if you want to get involved in the Changing Places campaign. I would like to thank everyone for coming on to listen to my presentation today and I am happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Mm. 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 Hi, Joe. Thanks for sharing that. Mm. There's a, we've got a message from uh, Pamis, um, from a e mm. suitor, just to say that she's a national lead for Changing Places Toilets in Scotland. Um, uh, she works with Pamis and Jill. And it's just to say, if you want any more information about changing places toilets, you can contact Pamis, and she's left a, an email address there for you. Did anybody else have any questions that they maybe wanted to ask Jill? Alistair, do you want to unmute yourself and maybe ask Jill your question? Yeah, thanks. Um, I'm aware that some places um, maybe have been built with um, accessible toilets and ones that are either full changing places or, or not not quite changing places toilets, but this they quite often get um, a, you know taken out of commission. Um, you, they get lots of stuff stored in them and people then can't access them. I'm just wondering if you've had any experience of that in campaigning to bring any back into use that have been kind of just let go. Yes. Mm -hmm. Across mm. that. Yes, I have came across that. Mm. Mm. Okay, thanks. Just wondered whether you'd been successful in managing to get them them back um back in use. Um that's all I was really interested. That would be really helpful. No. Do we have any? Sorry. Do we have anybody else that would like to ask Jill a question? If you want to put your hand up, and um, we've got a message here from Laura Rutherford as well, just to say thank you so much for all your campaigning, Jill. She says you're fantastic. <laughs> Anna, do you want to ask your question? Do you want to unmute? Hi, everyone. Hi, Jill. Um, thanks for that presentation, which was really interesting, because I, I think I have to say I didn't know that much um, mm -hmm. about all the different things that, that TAG is involved in. So there was a lot of um, really useful, really useful stuff in there. One thing I was I was curious to find out about um, take take your time to 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 say something about this. Um, was just thinking about about COVID, and obviously you know hearing earlier 
on in the day from different speakers about the very negative impact that has had on disabled people. And just, I suppose, for you to say from a tag, you know, from, from a tag perspective, how did, how, you know, what, what, what when, when you were obviously working with tag and, and listening to other people's stories, um, what, what do you think about the impact of COVID on the, the, the people or the, the you know, uh, the disabled community that you were in touch with at that point? Take your time to answer, please. I think Jill's, um, oh no, she's back. You froze, you froze there for a wee bit, Jill, but you're back. 
But Low tag always been page to page we meet every month. So I'm slow jumped in and we went, went online and for some they didn't use internet before. <laughs> And and did you feel that, you know, that was, did you feel that, um, you know, because I, I know that was something that um, uh, Professor Watson had talked about at the beginning of the day, that um, charities like TAG were a real lifeline for, for people um, uh, over COVID and especially doing things like, you know, it sounds like um, TAG were doing, were doing a lot of online groups and and joining people together in that way so do you feel that that was something that um, the people involved in tag really benefited from uh, yeah uh, great thanks jill uh, Jill just asked me to say um, the numbers of TAG's Facebook pages went from about 200 hits a month before lockdown to getting 10,000 a week. Oh my um, goodness. A phenomenal jump um, on social media and Jill was our bloggers uh, throughout mm. COVID. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, just just a kind of a, a just a kind of evidence then, um, Jill, just kind of reinforcing what what Professor Watson had said earlier on in the day. I think, um, I can see another question. I hand yeah. back to Olive. I hand so, back to Olive. Thanks. Thanks, Anna. So, uh, Jill Marion is asking: Is tag open to anyone, not just people who get support or key support? Mm -hmm. And you are. We've also got um someone else has put their hand up, Andrea Woods. Uh, she's got a question for you. Andrea, do you want to ask Thanks. your question? Thanks, Olive. Hi, Jill. Um, Jill and I know each other. Um, and I just, first of all, Jill, that was a brilliant presentation. Um, and uh, I work for an organisation who TAG works with the people that we support and um, the difference that um, TAG's work has made during COVID-19 has is fairly immeasurable in a lot of ways in terms of the online connecting people to people that they care about, connecting people to each other, it has just been astounding. But my question for you, Joe, was that I think you're an incredible inspiration to young women in particular um, in your active campaigning and the things that you do on behalf of disabled people. And I know that, that TAG often helps people become more confident about speaking out for themselves and for others. And I just wondered what you thought, was, it, was there anything else that we can do, either in society or if we are belong to support organisations or user-led organisations, but, but what do you think do helps people, you think helps people? Um, mm. become confident enough to start speaking out about the things that are, are not fair yeah, and not are, right? Are not fear and not
sleep. Hard. To be listened to and sleep hard. Thanks very much, Jill. Thank you. Do we have anybody else that might think of something else they'd like to ask Jill? Stephen McBride, would you like to ask Jill your question? Not so much a, a question, Nola. I just wanted to say that was an absolutely fantastic presentation and speech, Jill. And thank you for all your inspirational work with TAG and with Palmas and Changing Places. Hi, I can't seem to find out how to raise my hand. <laughs> Can I just say something? Yes, Is that okay? Please. Sorry. Yes, please. Please <laughs> I just ahead. wanted to say, um, Jill, really just to say what that was a great presentation and brilliant to hear about the Change of Places Toilet campaign and Jill is such a great advocate for changing places toilets. So we at PAMIS really appreciate everything that she does. And um, yeah, just really enjoyed hearing that today. Brilliant stuff. Thanks, Jill. Alistair, would you like to speak to? Uh, yeah, I was just thinking after all that stuff that you've done, which is brilliant. Um, What's, what's your plans for what's next? Inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Central Station. Just say watch for a program called Inside Central Station. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, thanks. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Jill. We really, really appreciate you taking the time to do this presentation. And as everybody says, just to, for all your hard work that you've been doing. If there's anybody else who wants to ask a question before the session finishes, just let me know. Anna, would you like to say something? 
Hi. Yeah, I suppose it was just um, really just a reaction to and a comment more than a question um, just with respect to the changing places. And I know a couple of people have have um, have have mentioned that in the discussion. And, um, you know, just to say, sort of speaking personally, that I have two children and my older son has a uh, severe cerebral palsy and um you know, uses uses changing places toilets when we're out and about as a family, and I think um, it, it's it's been really great to see all the campaigning and awareness raising around changing places, um, because it, it 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 surprises me. It sort of continues to surprise me how um, people, it, it sort of often people, sort of the general public, don't. Um, have have any kind of awareness that people with um, a more a, a more severe disability wouldn't be able to use a, a, a kind of regular um, accessible toilet, um, and um, we just you know just speaking personally as a family when. Um, we know that there's a, a changing places toilet available. It just, you know, it absolutely makes our day. And we actually actively go on day trips to places where they have changing places toilets because otherwise it would be really difficult uh, um, for us as a family to to go for a full day for a full day out. Um, and I suppose, I suppose there is a question hiding in there somewhere, which was, I suppose, just from your perspective, Jill, um, you know, do, do you find the same, you know, do you find that you're still having to, um, where, you know, when you're doing your campaigning, that, you know, people are, are still, are, are people still as unaware of, of the importance of changing places? Or do you, have you found that, um, people are becoming more receptive and, and maybe more proactive. Really? It is. Oh. Black. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. A. W. Aware. Awareness. Uh. Changing places, but really it is lack of awareness of changing places. Hey. When. Said. Other week there. Mm -hmm. 
She will. Oh. Mm-hmm. About. Mm-hmm. Changing places. A friend said on the weekend without me, she will know about changing places. She works. In the mm-hmm. hospital. Mm-hmm. And I told her there was In the hospital. Mm-hmm. And She works. Sure. She works in the hospital, and I told her there was one in the hospital, and she was shot. Sorry, you told her there that that there wasn't one in the hospital. Is that is yes. that right? Told her there was one in the hospital and she was shot. She oh, works she... in the hospital. I told her there was mm. one in the hospital and she was shot. Okay, so she didn't know there was one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's that can often be that's kind of from my experience too, that um that mm that um you know i suppose that's that's another aspect to the, the sort of changing places um campaign and awareness isn't it that um it's not just oh, getting yeah. it's not just getting the changing places in it's then making sure that everybody knows they exist um particularly the staff so they can direct people to you know to them I definitely come across that before absolutely thanks jill hey. Yeah, we've got one more person got their hand up. Would like to ask you something? Dino She, would you like to ask Jill? Yeah, hello. Hi, Hi Jill. Uh, just it's not so much um it's not so much a question, it was more a comment. Uh, I live down in uh, down in Blackpool, which is in the northwest of England, and we've got several so, well, we've got one particular advocate here in the northwest of changing places. And I've often wondered what the situation was like up north, and it's good that people like like yourself, the work that you're doing, uh, is as an advocate um, and as a as an advocate and as a champion of changing places. It's uh, it's a good thing that you're doing. So I'm really uh, I'm really pleased to 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 uh, 
I'm really pleased that you're 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 a good advocate for Scotland with that, with the accessible with the changing places toilets. Thank you, Mary, very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Jill. Thank you. Right, we've only got a couple of minutes kind of left, everybody. Uh, if there's anything else you want to kind of ask or say, uh, we've got a couple of minutes. I'd just like to say, Jill, thanks again. Uh, it's been a really useful session, I think, for everybody. We've really appreciated it. I have a Facebook page for my campaign called The Toilet Woman. Look it up if you wish. Yes. I don't know. Do you have a link to that that we could share? Is it just a Facebook, just Facebook the toilet woman that everyone's to look for? Yeah. I've got a message from Marion just to say thanks, Jill. Very useful. Did she really enjoyed your session? Uh, I have a Facebook page for my campaign called The Toilet Woman. Look it up if you wish, if you want to talk more. I have a Facebook page for my campaign called The Toilet Woman. Look it up if you wish, if you want to talk more. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, everybody, for, for joining us. Yeah.